Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of October 2019. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And as we start the month, we're still working with the new moon energy that took place late last month. I spoke all about it in last month's horoscope. You might want to have a look at that again, as that is energy you are carrying forward now. But it is going to be mid-month that the energy Energy does change and that is because of a full moon taking place in the sign just before yours now that full moon will perfect right around the 13th give or take a day on either side depending on where you are on the planet and what makes this full moon distinct is the way in which it is speaking with other power players so two power players that are going to be important are Saturn and Pluto these two planets are speaking with this full moon in a connection of tension. Now, this is a part of the sky for you that has to do with the unconscious, what's happening on energetic levels. It has to do with what's happening behind the scenes and maybe the things that you aren't necessarily consciously working with or aware of, but are factors playing out. And it does look like there's a lot going on there. It looks like strong emotions may be playing out this can be a time when some of your own fears arise, but they are doing so to be cleansed. This is a part of the sky that has to do with cleansing, especially karmic cleansing and understanding what has served its karmic purpose in your life. And as part of this, there may be some very intense feelings that do arise, uh, some things that are revealed about yourself, maybe about others as well, that help you to understand more clearly where you are in your life today, what it is that you are taking into your future and what you no longer need to carry. Now, what we also have happening with this full moon is a beautiful alignment with Jupiter. I am especially excited about this energy because it is one of optimism and hope and inspiration. And it looks like there is a lot on that on offer at this time as well. In fact, I would say with this energy, it is very possible that we have you receiving some sort of karmic blessing. Now, in order to get to that place, you may have to work through what can be challenging emotions or uncertainty, but on the other side, there is some sort of reward. Now, it may be financial, very possible, uh, this can be some sense of an inheritance or uh, other sort of monetary uh, sum coming through, whether it's a grant, loan, bursary, insurance payment, tax return or benefit you may qualify for. All of that becomes possible now. Now, for some, this may not necessarily be monetary. It may be in terms of a, a change to you, a sense of meaningful transformation that adjusts your course and helps you to feel that much more connected to things that really matter, helps you to identify the wealth that is available to you and all the ways in which you can identify and define wealth in a way that supports you today. In fact, I would say this beautiful and fortunate energy to this full moon, well, it does say that whatever does come forward for you, whatever information or emotions that arise, whatever awarenesses that arise, they are ultimately there as part of moving you towards a more blessed life, karmic blessings on offer here, and meaningful transformations that you can feel good about. As we navigate towards the end of the month, we are going to have a new moon taking place in your opposite sign. Now this happens right around the 28th, and it is this new moon that is distinctive in the way in which it is standing across the sky from Uranus. There are a lot of surprise connections that you are set to make when we have important lunar energy in your opposite sign. It means that someone is there to help you to understand yourself. As I like to say, to see yourself differently as reflected in the eyes of another. And you will get a surprise look. And so for some, this is gonna play out in terms of uh, business alliances, professional partnerships, this energy of Uranus can go either way. It can be a new meeting that leaps you into your future, uh, that takes you by surprise, but moves you in a direction of, uh, of positive change. It can also be a new meeting or connection that uh, feels as if it has changed things for you in a way that you're not sure how you feel about right away. Regardless of how this energy does play out, know that 
ultimately this is about changing connections, changing contacts that move you into a more positive future. Of course, with this energy in your opposite sign, I think for a lot of Taurians out there, this is going to play itself out in the context of love. And when we have important lunar energy in your opposite sign, because someone is there very often, someone is there to help you to understand where you are in love and why. And again, this is a surprising new moon filled with new options, new insights, and fresh beginnings. If you're open to meeting someone new, this is one of the key moments of this year, really, where you may end up meeting someone and it may take you by surprise most of all. Uh, it may be that you have a moment and you don't realize right away that a flirtation is occurring here, but it can be something that helps you to see yourself differently. And for some of you, if you are just getting to know someone, this is real moment of truth with this person. Either you'll be all in or not. Either you will realize at this point that you are moving forward with this person and you leap forward very quickly, or you decide to go in a different direction altogether. One thing that Uranus does promise is clarity, is truth. And for those of you who are in an established bond, this can be your partner delivering some surprising news or maybe having a, a reaction to something that you share. Regardless, know that this is an opportunity to know each other more, to, to be more honest, but also to welcome surprises that could redefine your relationship and your connection. You've already got Uranus in your sign, right? For a nice long stay till the middle of the next decade. But it is now, as this Uranus is activated, that as a result of your partner, directly or indirectly, you are changed, you are transformed, you are redefined, and you are moving into a more honest and more authentic future in a way that you will likely love. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there is a lot here, but I am going to say that new moon at the end of the month. I think at the very least, you're going to have a lot of people around. You'll be interacting with a lot of people. We are going to have energy increasing in this part of the sky. And that really is thanks to uh, Mercury. Now, Mercury will be standing still at the time of that new moon. It will technically go retrograde right on Halloween. So here are some things to remember. I'll probably remind you of this next month as well, but when we have a Mercury retrograde in your opposite sign, breakups that happen tend to not stay broken up. When we have a Mercury retrograde in your opposite sign, misunderstandings become more likely between partners. Now, Mercury doesn't go into shadow until the middle of the month, right around the 11th. And what that tells me is, if it is that, right around that new moon, you realize that you're not meant to walk further with this person, whether you're getting to know them, um, that's okay, right? That may be you're still in that fresh energy area, but if it is that as you're moving towards the end of the month, you're starting to sense or feel or think you want to, you know, go this way or that way, you might change your mind. And so it's important now to stay open, see what lessons are presenting themselves to you, where it comes to your connections with other people, knowing that ultimately you are moving forward in a direction of greater love and greater wisdom as well. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.